Yeah, uh, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, I got out here. I got a quick little fun story this weekend. Okay, I fun. Thank God. Fun, I was going to get really scared for a second. Yeah, I know. Um, so on Sunday, I walked to IHOP with Leah. And, no, cool. you know, I haven't been to IHOP in a while, right? It's like, it's fine. I think the last time I ate there was what when I used to... It's fine. IHOP's like one of the best restaurants. It's not been. great, though, if you're like eat, wanting to eat somewhat healthy, though. I think that, like, I used oh, to always yeah, get. It... Well, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, Mr. Obvious here. But you just hold on. But um, I always would get the Mexican Trace Leches pancakes. Those are always my go to. Um, mm-hmm. And when we went, I was like, ah, uh, I don't know. I, I honestly like it's mainly sweets. I will just sometimes really not crave anymore. Um, But. Anyways, um, so I was like, okay, I'll get a burrito, you know, like a breakfast burrito at IHOP. Have you had their breakfast burritos, Isaac? Never had one. Oh, so me. let's just say I there's three different options of breakfast burritos, right? You got your original, which is like hash browns, uh, cheese, eggs, and then there's like sauce on the side, right? And that one is 13 bucks. And then okay. there's like way more appetizing looking ones that were all like in the $18 range. And I wanted those, but I was like, no, I should, I'll just get this. For a burrito is insane. Yeah. It was like. At IHOP too. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, IHOP's, yeah. Like IHOP is, I feel like more bougie than people think in some way. Like, or it's just, it's a lot more expensive than I feel like. Um, mm. But, um, so I was like, okay, I'll get that. Right. And I don't know about you. So the burrito comes in, the tortilla isn't cooked in some form. Like it's not even like warmed up. It's literally just like, it's not cold, but it's like this thin, you could barely call it tortilla. And that's like an essential part of the breakfast burrito. And then when you looked in it, right, like 80% of the center was just solid fucking hash browns. And it's just like, so nasty do you like hash browns isaac not at all right so i'm like whatever about them i that that's the other thing americans fucking love hash browns so much and then like i don't mind it i kind of like it if it's crispy right that's the way Mm. um i like it but these were just mushy it was just a big fucking cylinder of just ma- of hash browns in there right it's like i don't get why do so many americans love hash browns and then if you get them it like takes up 80 percent of the plate it's such a waste of food and just overall like space of like how much hash browns there are in this world so i was and then the fucking the eggs were like i hop eggs so they're just like whatever and then they put the cheese on it consistently, so there would be points where I didn't taste any cheese, and then other points where I would be eating just like a solid block of IHOP cheese. Um, right. So one of the worst fucking dishes I've ever just ate, eaten in a, a mm-hmm. long time. I didn't get food poisoning, so it's not like the worst. It's a big plus. That is a big plus. Yeah. But like, my God, it sucked. And then the whole time I was eating this, right on the other side of me, I easy you've been to that IHOP, right? Next to Yeah, I love that IHOP. So you know how Which in the middle sounds bad now, but wait, why does it sound bad now? Oh, <laughs> just, <laughs> just <laughs> shitty eye. <laughs> yeah. Um but I mean, I guess this is a lot of diners. So we were sitting in the middle, right? And then you know how they have like a barrier thing and then there's tables on the other side. Yeah, of course. And mm-hmm. the barriers, it's it's not really a barrier. But anyways, there was a guy on the other side. And it was just completely like crazy. And this man, for the entire 30 minutes that we were there, was like, oh, the Jesus Lord. Oh, man, I love him. Man, we will reckon for our sin. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh. And they just kept talking about all oh, the Ten Commandments. Oh, Lord, shall death wrath on me. Oh, I, like literally just like the entire time. And I was so get, I was being so annoyed because I was like, shut the fuck up. I don't need to hear about this shit. Shut up. And I'm trying to eat my burrito and the burrito's nasty. And then this dude is like, he has fucking pancakes and he put pepper on his pancakes or whatever. And then the one time he stopped talking, doing his like sermon 
to himself. Um, he like asked the waiter. He was like, "This ste- he got steak right," and he's yeah, like, "The okay. steak is like not rare, or it's not like." <laughs> and then they're like, "Well, no, no." He, he, he's like, "Well, no, I, I, I don't want it." And then he spent the rest of the whole time we were sitting just stabbing it. Um, so I mean, at least it sounds like he's repenting. You know, at least it seems that his evil's done. Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's maybe a, that's a very uh, that's a very unique experience. That's where Theo did his fantasy punishment last year. Oh, really? I don't know. Yeah. I think so, at least. That's I would assume so. It's a fun I hop to do it at. So, yeah. um, I mean, jokes on me. I didn't get fucking pancakes. Like, what else should you get at I hop? But still, oh, you went you went to the I hop in Capitol Hill, and you found a crazy guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's the, like don't we? I'm used to like crazy people here. Right, well, I don't mind. I literally don't mind them. The big there's the same Seattle, yeah, yeah. Like there's literally the same guy that goes to the shell every day. I see him every day when I walk to school, right? Mm-hmm. And then, um, but like I think it was just the combination of like the burrito was so fucking bad, and then the way it wasn't like, ah! and then it's like you know a couple minutes of silence. It's just like this. Oh Lord. Thank you for the sins I have committed today. Oh, oh, 10 commit. It's like, it was just that nonstop. And you're just like, shut up. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, it was a really fun experience. I hop. So um, hey, there you go. Got to look at it holistically, right? Exactly. I, it was overall a good memory. So I'm not mad it happened. Um, but um, I don't know. Isaac, how was, how was your weekend slash week? Uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me think. How much? How much was there that was like actually relevant? Uh, take, take your time. Take your time. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have been thinking about this. Uh, no, it's it's been going pretty well. Um, but a pretty productive day today because Mondays I only have like one class from twelve forty five to two, so it's Aww. very chill. It's a very good way to get into the week. Um, but oh, I nice. was pretty productive. Uh, you know how I don't have a roommate? Yeah. Yeah. So I uh. So back in freshman year, I also didn't have a roommate because of COVID. They were only putting one person in every double, basically. Yeah. Um, and then so basically, I just pulled out some of my old stuff and like I it used to be like I used to have like a bunch of laundry that I hadn't folded on that bed, and I have like revolutionized it. It's a nice little living space now. I got a little, I got a little shelf over there, so it doesn't look like a hazard zone. Yeah. Um, got, I'm using his desk now. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Oh wait, yeah, yeah, I can't. Uh, I didn't realize you switched sides, but I guess because there's a closet mm-hmm, thing. Mm-hmm. Well, I have two closets now. It's it's a really good setup, but uh, no, just chilling. Um, let's think. What did I do? Oh, I did something. Uh, R- really quick is is your roommate coming back for? Ne- oh, well, you guys go by semesters, right? So like, you have right. the open for the. I have semester. it. I have it until summer. When I Hell leave. yes. Yeah, because he's he's abroad in Morocco for a semester. Gotcha. The replacement just never show up. Show wow. Up. So, uh, what a setup you got yourself. That is nice. Yeah, I know. But uh, let's think. What is there? Um, sorry, I'm trying to think of what I've done. I guess I haven't done much. It's been pretty chill. You know, I'm only in, this is the start Boom. of week three of school for the semester. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've been doing a little bit of work. Uh, you watch, gotta, uh, oh, sorry. No, go for it. You watch football this Sunday? Or, or, I, mean, so I did. did. I did. Yeah. I spent I spent the day in my Jalen Hurts jersey. It felt pretty good. You have a Jalen Hurts jersey? Of course I have a Jalen Hurts jersey. He's my oh. fantasy football MVP this year. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't realize. I, is he actually he is he actually gonna win MVP this year? Or are you just saying uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't he, know who the he, final is. He was my fan my fantasy football MVP as in like my team. Mm. You know, because I have like a Saquon. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. All right. I went a little overboard with the Michael Thomas and maybe Kyle Pitts, but like Saquon Barkley and Jalen Hurts, I got uh and then um God had to reward your faith somehow. Mm-hmm. So right. it all worked out. Um no, it's good though. And like, you know, it's been, it's been a fun run. I, it, it will he win MVP? I don't know, but either way, you know, I think I think they're winning the Super Bowl because I, I don't really think the Chiefs got too much me. over him. Yeah. Um like if you can drop 31 on the 49ers even without a quarterback, uh that's yeah, well hold on, because I wanna like People are bitching so fucking much over yesterday. I this is what I can tell is there's a lot more like once the playoffs, like the NFC, you know, NFC, AFC conference championship, 
there's a way more of like the bandwagon people or right mm-hmm. that people don't pay attention regular season like right. there was really bad like okay first off let's talk about like yeah the 49ers eagles game right where people are like oh eagles uh cupcake schedule and it's like i mean yeah it's easier than most what for pl- the playoffs this year but also to mm-hmm. be fair there's only like three good nfc teams like oh you can't really blame them and then mm-hmm. it's also like people just yeah people completely forget like 49ers still had like a healthy defense that was number one this year and they yeah. it wouldn't have changed anything i really like right brock purdy probably maybe would have scored a bit more but like yeah, I, I, I was just getting so sick of all the fucking bitching. And then, like, the Bengals-Chiefs game, right? There was bad refing, like, with, like, the no call and, like, holding for Mahomes. Mm-hmm. And then I think there was, like, a late hit on Joe Burrow, right? right. But, like, I don't know. Also, just fucking get good. Like, it's so many – it's just so clear – there's so like you know oh Joe Burrow's you know big time everyone's favorite now this time around I I hate I, all right this is our right, Isaac more rants from me uh, coming no, up yeah but like I fucking drafted Joe Burrow with my first round pick this year mm-hmm. right I was bitching about him those first like three weeks but I stayed with him I was having a great time I love Joe Burrow because he's not like a flashy he, he's just here he just fucking throws a ball right like mm-hmm. normal. Yeah. Not normal, but your classic like pocket pass couldn't be me, <laughs> yeah, right? Anyway, well, that was funny because I almost could, I almost drafted Jalen Hurts too, right? Because yeah, I had the pick yeah. before you, but um, I don't know. I probably Jalen Hurts was like a bit better this year, but I don't really know if it would have been that different for me. Like, I, I the Fair quarterback enough. wasn't really the issue. Um, yeah, Joey B, man. Um, but I hate when it comes to fucking like, especially after the Bills game. There's so much more, like, so many more bandwagon fans for, like, the Bengals. And it made me dislike Joe Burrow, where Joe Burrow is my fantasy dynasty quarterback. Um, Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I, like, when I was at work, I was talking to some people, and they were like, oh, we're going to a football party to watch um, football. Mm -hmm. And then I was asking, I was like, oh, you know, who, uh, who you guys rooting for and they're like oh bangles and then they're like i'm a big joe burrow fan and i was like okay see, i mean they have the right to but see that that's how you know they're racist though because why not jalen hurts man why not jalen hurts that's true but like oh yeah. yeah i i'll get it it's all and it is interesting because like jalen hurts is well Objectively, I'm joking here, but he hey, is. Object- I'll, I'll bring up the fucking tier list again. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring that yeah. shit up. I was gonna He's say, Jalen Hurts is much more attractive than Joe Burrow, and like, yeah. so, um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm glad the Bengals lost because now I get to be like my normal Joe Burrow fan. Um, right. but you don't have yeah. all the all the bad people with you. I I will say, uh, going off of a bit of your rant um, about, you know, things like strength of schedule Um, specifically this year, but I mean, it happens every year. Like, Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. The Eagles are a really good example because they were like the one seed. Right. So, okay. Yeah. You could say they had like an easier schedule than most people, but when you look at their schedule, there's like a few factors personally that lie out as to why everyone should shut up. First of all, it's the Mm -hmm. NFL, like, especially for the first like three quarters of the season, no one is really tanking, you know? Yeah. Yes, until until you really get to the point where it's like, okay, so you're not going to be back next year, and you're not going to be back next year. No one really like it's still like it. You know, it it this isn't like Division Two, right? You, you're going at it every week. Yeah. Um, but even ignoring that, you know, they're in the NFC East, which had three playoff teams, almost four. Uh, but Washington sucks. Hallelujah. Yeah. Um, and then you know when you look at it, okay, so all right. Besides their division, they probably and you know NFC West obviously is the hardest division in football. We're not touching that, but NFC East. I don't know about any more though. But I think they've kind of died. At least I, I'm, as a Seahawks, Seahawks fan, I like I don't think Cardinals. Sorry, I'll I'll let you go back to your thing. But like, oh, go ahead. Cardinals are uh, in the poopers right now, and then fucking Rams are screwed. So mm-hmm. and also, I mean, 49ers are like great roster. Most of them are on contract, um, but uh. Check how many draft picks they have next year. 
Good oh, point. Good point. But yeah. um, all right. Sorry. Back to you. Back to you about uh, no, strength. Um, no, but it's just like you know, like you could be like, okay, so they have like a really easy schedule, and like while I would get, I would get that excuse for saying someone's a contender or not, if like uh you know they're just a few wins above 500 and they're like a three or four seed you know but i mean this is like a team that went 11 and 0 to start the season uh jalen hurts only lost one game that he played in this year yeah like it it when you're winning out it doesn't it doesn't really matter who you're playing the fact of the matter is you are winning out and yeah that's not something that a lot of people do right so I just I, I don't really like that argument the whole strength of schedule thing. Like oh yeah, you could be playing the you could be playing the 2012 Cleveland Browns 17 games out of the season. If you start 13 and 0, that is impressive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I like. I just yeah, I was getting so annoyed because like, what do you expect them to do then? Like fucking lose? I, I like yeah, exactly. it's, it's such a bullshit thing. But I will say that like argument though is warranted for the was it the 2020 Steelers. That was a true fraud. fraud okay, team. yeah, but again, but that wasn't. Ta- ta- but it wasn't about. playoffs though. They they, they, they lost the in the playoffs. One or two seed, right? They that's were, true. They were the one but they they did, the go, they did go. They did go eleven and up. Yeah, they were. That, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Good point. Good point. Like that was one where it was so fraudulent. Like you could just smell it the whole time. Oh yeah. Um, and then, but oh, it yeah. still showed though, because then they lost in the first round of the playoffs to the fucking uh, Browns. So like. Yeah. Eagles didn't do that. Um, that was the Browns here. Oh, yeah. God. I don't know. I don't know. And I, 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 also, I just, I like. It's not really. No, actually, it is fun. I just, I like how Eagles will win. They should. But, mm-hmm. um, I, I liked how creative Kansas City was this year. They didn't have yeah. all their like their receivers. Like NBC was their fucking one. MVS, yeah. MV, whatever, yeah. MV, exactly. Cool. He was a Packer. That's the I, I, I know, <laughs> I know, I know, and that's exactly like that proves my point. Where like the play calling was so much cooler to watch, and that game was mm-hmm. so entertaining. Like even though Mahomes had that bad um, ankle, like he still had some fucking dope throw. There's some hot, dude. Some dude those those are some nice play. passes that game. I, I, oh, yeah. oh. but um. Yeah. So, damn, that was a lot of um football. Um, but Isaac, uh, what was the Burundi news? Yeah. Um, no, we've we've got like I told you, we got a we got a little bit of news this week. Um, so it looks like the cholera outbreak is going. I I guess well, there's no updates on it, you know. So I would assume I would assume it's going all right. Uh, um, but so specifically this week, I you know it's uh. Two things. So, sorry, my nose is like stuffed right now. I hate allergies. Uh, so two big things. Um, first of all, the Church of Latter Day Saints. Uh, oh. their their leadership visited uh with the <laughs> prime minister, and they donated to their to the hospital's charity. Nose, would you would you like to guess what type of medical equipment they donated? Um, or, what type of medical equipment they donated? Think to about burn. it. They're Christians. What's the only thing they use medical stuff for? It'd be in... it'd be really funny if it was like abortion stuff, but like that's the complete opposite of what they would do. Um, what is it? Well, you're pretty close, actually. Maternity equipment. They completely <laughs> like fitted the entire Burundi hospital with uh, ultrasounds, uh, you know, maternity equipment. You know, I don't agree with the church. Giving you know, it, I, I cool move, I guess. Yeah, I, I would say so. Better than not, you know. Um, yeah. So that that was a big one. Um, I wonder. And... Oh, really quick. Yeah, I mean. No, go. Yeah, I'm basically done with this one. Yeah. So they're doing that just to maybe establish a stronger influence and to get their church more into Burundi. Then I guess maybe maybe so, that's an interesting move. I I'm like oh good, but I'm questioning the intentions or the final means to this. yeah knowing like the whole history behind things like missionaries i i'm sure well, i'm not sure hopefully it was out of the kindness of their hearts and with the will of jesus christ right but mm-hmm. who knows um if you guys if you don't know uh you should probably look up things about missionaries in like central and southern africa uh pretty interesting mm-hmm. um but anyway the other big news is uh it happened i want to say the 20 25th 25th yeah um 
but so officially Burundi uh made the native language the national language uh Kirundi, uh the official oh. national language. So that's pretty exciting. Um yeah, no, just it's cool. They have a national language now. It's I, I you know, I'm personally I'm not a fan of national languages, but also to be fair, I'm from the US, which is a melting pot, you know, and we just have a lot of way too many different cultures. So we can't really have a national language in my opinion. Yeah. Um, pretty cool though. Pretty cool to see. Uh, yeah, I'm reading that article because I was for a second I was like, what is ex- exactly changes when you establish a national language? But I was seeing um, um all public meetings and conferences will be conducted mm-hmm. in Kurundi. And I would assume it also changes education uh policies. Oh yeah. Burundi has so far adopted French, has adopted English and Swahili. Oh. I don't know. Okay, it says the country's also adopted English and Swahili, the two largely spoken lang- languages in the Eastern African community. Mm-hmm. Um, so does that you mean know why uh you want to know why French and English are like really popular in like you know in the East African colonies now? Mm, uh, uh, maybe it was just like the Latter Day Saints is just a couple guys just want to come down and just teach a cool language. <laughs> hey, maybe man, maybe. Maybe Duolingo's got a really good program over there. Yeah. God, sorry, I'm my body's just making noises. Um, Listen, did you just eat dinner, or are you still processing that burrito? Oh, I probably am still processing the burrito. No, I think I ate like an hour and fifteen minutes ago, so maybe. Oh, okay, cool. I'm still yeah. coursing out. So, I don't, that is I didn't. So if that's saying it's saying then that English and Swahili are the most spoken languages there. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. That's kind of yeah. crazy. Um, Learn more every day, Nils. It's the purpose of the podcast. Dang right. And just like... <sighs> I forgot. Oh, well. I was trying to think of a segue. Also, we didn't uh, say... Uh, it, but Isaac, welcome back to Sticks Cast episode... 29 yeah there we go i knew it didn't even have to look it up yeah (laughs) didn't even have to look it up i had a feeling i was like this time he's gonna get it so yeah hey next one's the big 3-0 i know i it's too bad i don't think our magic Mike episode is gonna be that one um that'll be like Um, 31 because magic Mike comes out february february 9th i think mm -hmm. um so oh well but um no i mean yeah, because we're we're trying to do tiptoes, right? Yeah, I think we'll do tiptoes next week. <laughs> okay. I don't know Sorry. what that is. You don't know what to oh, all right. Isaac, do me a favor, don't look anything I'm not up gonna. about it. Yeah, no um, worries. Hold on. I'm sorry, I, I am gonna precisely check when Magic Mike's last dance does come out because because that will be our Valentine's Day sticks cast. Yeah, so it says it's February 10th of Friday. Can you check for me? Uh, February 10th is, well, because February 14th is a Tuesday, 13 Monday. I think it is, yeah. 12 Sunday, 11 mm. Saturday. Yeah, it is a Friday. Okay. Damn. I guess, uh, I mean, we. yeah, I guess it's not that important to watch Magic or release a Magic Mike episode that close to the release date. As long as, yeah, we'll get it out by Valentine's Day. That, that does the mm-hmm. job. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, anyways, for episode 29, Isaac, uh, what did you pick for this week? Yeah, you know, it's a movie I've been meaning to watch for a while. Uh, I don't know if you remember when we went on the ski trip with uh, Zach over winter break, but I talked a little bit about how I wanted to see it in the car ride. Um, we, we watched Highlander. You know, it's a, if you don't know, it's a 1986 uh, like fantasy action movie. Really fun. Uh, Nils, you want to go about on the, uh, do you have the synopsis up or should I pull it up? I will do it. Why not? I feel like I haven't read one. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, here we go. Highlander, nineteen eighty six, directed by Russell McCall- McC- Muckle- Muckle- <laughs> Mulkey. Uh, there can be only one. He fought his first battle on the Scottish Highlands in fifteen thirty six. He will fight his greatest battle on the streets of New York City in nineteen eighty six. His name is Connor McLeod. He is immortal. Um, that is the synopsis. Um, so mm-hmm. yeah, I like, I had no clue. Um, 
Well, okay, sorry. I should ask, like, how did you hear about this movie? Uh, you know, I think it's just like one of those. I heard about it because I heard the quote, uh, there can only be one, and then someone would say Highlander, and that happened enough times that I just made it so mm. there can only be one is Highlander, even though I'd never heard of it before. Yeah. Um, so that's how I heard about it. And then, you know, I was I was looking into it. It's recently. Um, I've been trying to get through a lot of like the 80s, sometimes 90s, not 70s though. Uh like um just less so action, but either sci-fi or fantasy. Just because yeah. I think that's like kind of, especially for cinema, that's when like the world building kind of hit its peak, in my opinion. It's um, also because there's all those now like memes of like AI where you put in um some like TV show or something and say like, uh, it's like, uh, what's a good one? It's like Sopranos in a dark 80s, like Yakuza fantasy, or it's like Stranger Things in an 80s fantasy show. What are you talking what? about? Okay, hold on. Let's share the screen. Let me give no, me a yeah, second. Please show all me what right. you're talking about. Uh, let's see. In the dark 80s. Do you think this is actually going to be the last Magic Mike, or do you think they got one more? Oh, I forgot how his son was. <laughs> uh, it, it's going to be. Like, you okay. know, I'm, if you I, say so, I don't know. I feel like he could pull out another one. Or maybe they can make like a prequel, you know? Yeah, I mean, do I have I, to see the first two to see the third? Yes, that that uh, weird. Uh, let's see, what's a good one? Oh yeah, see where it's like Dark Souls as an '80s dark fantasy film. Oh, that's cute. Okay, um, cool. I like that. Where? Hold that's on, awesome. I'll find some other. Oh ones. yeah, like the uh the Dolly photos. Okay, I see what you mean. Oh, there. maybe here's like I think one was like Game of Thrones and. Uh, oh, I see Witcher right there. Yeah, 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 in the dark eighties fantasy. Okay. Uh, da 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 da. da. Um. Wait. Oh yeah, to... it's right there. It's right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fuck. Okay. Wow. Awesome. No, I never. I never. Uh... Um. Anyways, so that this movie we watch is like so much of that aesthetic. So that's why it was kind oh, yeah. of fun to watch for me. Um. Because I was like, whoa. Yeah. I mean, his. I I've always I think the only type of movie of this genre of these like eighties long hair you know Queen soundtrack type movies right. I've seen is Flash, uh, Gordon. Oh yeah, um, that's like a bit older though. I think that's like nineteen eighty. Because this, um, I I I'm conflicted on this one, Isaac. I'm I'm definitely conflicted by it. Um, I okay. think there are some parts of this movie that are so freaking rad i mean like the queen songs uh the queen soundtrack in this is so good i was a lot of this movie i was like looking forward to those queen songs um Mm -hmm. i don't know isaac was there a favor of yours on that soundtrack at all you know no not really um no i wouldn't say so i i mainly just really like the who wants to live forever that's a good uh, one, yeah. Song and because it, it ties in well with like with the main character's immortality. Um, mm-hmm. so yeah. I don't know. I thought it was really cool. Um, but like, oh, and then and then Sean Connery's in it. That's uh, like this movie is so random because mm-hmm. it's it's one way or the other when it comes to stuff, right? Because like the action is really clumsy, but it's also really fucking fun to watch right Mm -hmm. um and then you have like some of the most boring you know office shots when they're like uh you know doing like cop work right then Mm -hmm. but then it's these dope like beautiful scenery shots like scotland and like these castles and shit you're like whoa Mm -hmm. this is so cool and then there's like Sean Connery's like everyone else in the movie. I have no fucking clue. All the acting is so like funny, bad. But then you have like Sean Connery, who's just kind of there wearing the funniest outfit. Actually, I should look that up. Let me um um Isaac, you seem like not based off his person, but you seem like a Sean Connery fan. Am I no? no? Okay, I don't think so. I mean, to be fair i haven't like seen a lot of his movies which is kind of surprising and surprising but like at the same time you know and i'll talk about it more later but like i just have a huge i have so many issues 
with just like the era of films he really was popular in you know yeah and it just i it, i just can't watch that shit. oh my god wait i'll share, I'll share a screen um like <laughs> <laughs> like just signing on this is so funny I, hey I, hey hey no as a spanish man myself i can tell you that's pretty accurate right there there's nothing what? funny about that Nils. there's nothing <laughs> funny about that because <laughs> they were like talking right about like what his heritage was for a bit right and then yeah, he's, he's like, no, Egyptian. i'm egyptian i'm like wait is that is he lying about that or is that what <laughs> There's also yeah. this. Um, oh, that I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can't get this video taken down. Um, but also, my God, the main actor or whatever, like that dude is so bad. Uh, like he's so corny with all of his lines. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know. I said like, what? What? Oh, and that was the other thing. Like, there's really funny highs, high highs. And then there's insanely low lows for me in terms of like, this is a two hour film and there is a significant portion that is some of the most boring stuff ever. But then there's a good amount. That's also just so fucking funny and awesome. Um, but I don't know. What did you, what did you think? Okay. Um, you know, I think that it's maybe like in 1986, right. It was a little more original. Um, but we all, we obviously now being like almost what almost 40 years later yeah, um, that's great. wow that's insane Wait. um yeah, oh, yeah in almost. yeah in 3 years uh yeah. it it's just like the whole immortal like warrior trope is a little played out but at the same time mm-hmm. like i understand that i think it was done really well here cuz you know you have movies like um and obviously there's like tropes that go into this subgenre. Um did you see the old guard? The old guard. Why does that sound familiar? It was like a Netflix movie. Who was uh, in it? Uh God, what's her name? Ruby. She played Batwoman. And she was in Pitch Perfect. Oh, I did um, not see that movie. I know what okay. you're talking about though. Honestly, I, pretty good. But like, um, you know, it, it's like a similar concept, just immortal warriors. And it's like I think that what I the main thing that I really liked about the movie is that they didn't like waste they didn't waste time explaining shit that we wouldn't understand because we wouldn't understand it. You know, they kind of mm-hmm. they're like, OK, he did this. This is what happened. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, they, really quick, I was going to add on to that word. Yeah. It when you go into the movie, yeah, it, it is not like holding your hand. I wrote down in my notes. It's like you like kind of feel like you're in a foreign country. Right. In a way. Because there's just crazy, like, so much, so many different stuff happens, and you really don't even know, like, what the character's gist is until probably, like, 30 to 40 minutes in it. Like, no, exactly. um, but, but yeah, uh, as you were saying. Yeah, so, you know, I, I, I like that. Um, yeah. Because, obviously, you know, one of my least favorite film tropes is when a movie doesn't fully commit to explaining everything but they also try explaining a little bit because i just mm. it, it oh yeah make... like the void yeah exactly um, shout out. <laughs> yeah shout out that sticks cast yeah. those sticks cast number 20 oh oh that one yeah that one i'm gonna say 17 okay cool. let's i'll check we'll, it right we'll, now yeah, yeah we'll, we'll pull that up <laughs> uh hey link right here uh but um no <laughs> uh sorry um where was i so i liked that otherwise you know parts of it it's just like i mentioned it earlier and it's not really like the movie's fault i guess it was more the industry but like you know it's like a mid 80s like action movie with fantasy elements but it's mainly an action movie right yeah like you said the sword fightings were the sword fights were entertaining but at the same time it's like it's like star wars fights right it's not like really like they're really long drawn out sometimes yeah. dialogue pieces and it's just like uh, uh yeah <laughs> it's you know? so and, so goofy yeah exactly and i i think that like when it comes to things like you know melee combat i feel like in most cinema i prefer it more when it's not really used as a dialogue piece right i prefer it like it should be like hit hit done in my opinion but hmm. i understand at the same time that like 
that's just not how the industry was. Other things I didn't like about the industry, like, you know, racism, a lot of sexism. Like, the sexism, I don't know if you noticed. It was insane in this movie. Like, it wasn't even just sexism, too. It was, like, very blatant sexual harassment that was, you know, it's like the 80s. It has Sean Connery in it, you know? Yeah. It's like, oh, we got it. We got, like, we got Sean fucking Connery. I know. Whatever we want, guys. And then, like, you know, I also, like, Arguably, in my in my opinion, worse than that is is just like the complete demeaning nature of these films when it when it comes to like female characters, right? Because like yeah, uh, I forget her name, but you know the forensics lady, like super qualified, super talented. Clearly, like she did the work of all like the NYP that you know the fucking police force couldn't do, um, yeah. and she did it all like on her own. And then like at the end, she's just reduced to like a love interest. Like she's not at oh, yeah. all like given any respect. She's put up with like <laughs> fucking God, you know? And she's just like, oh, I'm just happy to be here. Like, oh my God. They Did literally you see her place. She has a f- I don't care if it's 1986. She must be a millionaire. That place was insane before it got busted. But like I I just like I hate I hated that so much that honestly like and I know it's not just this film it's the industry back in the 80s but like it doesn't make it better for me I just don't enjoy watching it it's just not oh yeah well it's just I not mean not fun <laughs> it, it like it's so over the top that like they literally have her dangled like tied up on a tower like Peach Princess Peach in like the fucking Donkey Kong game it says mm-hmm. like and yeah the first hour of the movie she's like oh doing all this forensic work and then yeah the second half it's just reduced to like him I, I, yeah i don't know I, I i love sean connery giving like advice or whatever mm-hmm. giving like current day like uh hustler uh finance bro right. like tiktok advice of everyone oh. took, was it sean connery yeah yeah he's like you gotta leave her or whatever yeah. um yeah no that was Oh, yeah, I think and when I was talking about, like, there's portions of this movie that I was just, like, literally flat, dead bored. It was all the romance stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of it. Um, yeah. And I would like to mention, though, um, going back to what you just said about the advice Sean Connery gave him, like, I get it. Because, like, you're in, a, you're in an immortal duel to the death with a bunch of other people who you don't know how many there are. And they got the fucking big, like, you know, Russian, got the broadsword, you know. Like, you're in a fight to the death. Every, it's 11-11, make a wish. Um, you know, it's a fight to the death. The only way for you to lose is to get behead, beheaded. Like, there's no room for fucking around, right? And then he's like, okay, this is all really great advice. I'm not going to follow it because you died but like i'm not gonna follow it and then i'm gonna it's gonna hurt and i'm gonna do it again right at the end like i i would understand like doing it with like the you know the original love of his life again i don't know any of the characters names but um like i i get doing it with the original love of your life like i don't really want to leave them you know this wasn't something that uh you know this has existed long before i knew i was immortal like this is very real to me but i feel like once you get to the immortal stage like it's just like okay we probably shouldn't fuck around with people right because that's it just won't it, yeah no it just doesn't work yeah. right but um and, yeah sorry i just really fucking hate that he became god at the end and he's talking yeah. about like oh yeah i really want to like i can help I, I can tell what everyone's thinking and uh, I can tell, no, 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 no. And she's like, what am I thinking about? And he's like, you're thinking about how much you love me. And it's like, all right, first part, all right, here's the thing. Even if that's true, that is such an unhealthy relationship to be in. Yeah. In your fucking mind. That is terrible. That, it's just, ooh, mm, you know? But that's yeah. that. I mean. Oh. Ooh, yeah, no, by, by the time he's becoming God, like, because there's just points in this movie where it is, fucking low and low boredom mm-hmm. oh, and yeah. so then i, I kind of stopped paying attention and so then like yeah when he becomes god right i really was kind of like uh okay um but yeah also and then speaking of the racism did you catch that line that one yes i did i did i did yeah, <laughs> yeah i did <laughs> this is the best <laughs> like so i think it, it it's what it's a throwaway line 
right? Yeah. Like they just I'm saying this for people who are gonna watch this movie because I doubt anyone listening to this will be watching this movie, or at least within you know a week, right? But there's a part when the theme, the main one of the, the love interest character because she's forensic, she walks in the police station, and then it's one of those throwaway lines where then like the commissioner or some you know cop is on the phone, and so he then he hangs it up and has to like talk about like. I think they're talking like a work partner, right? Or is yeah, something they were, like that. They were talking to another cop, and they were like, "Yeah, yeah." But yeah, and, the, like, and then the, he's like, "Oh, yeah, um, like, uh, what, like James didn't show up today. <laughs> his Vietnamese neighbor ate his dog." Yeah, and it's like, oh my god, why is that in the movie? What the <laughs> fuck? It is, uh, so- man. You I, no shit. Actually, now that you're talking, now that you're talking about the cop stunt, I think about it. Like, I think this movie is a great example to show like how terrible like you know the entire institution of the police is. Because, well, all right, all right, hear me out. And it's it's not even like brought up ever. You know, so like okay, yeah. so they suspect that this guy just beheaded a dude in the parking garage, but they don't know he beheaded anyone because no one was there to see it. For some reason, they all, I mean, I'm guessing it was with, like, the whole, like, body exploding thing, you know? A bunch of cop cars just show up outside, right? Yeah. Um, And they're like, okay, you're under, you're not under arrest. Not, they did not arrest him. No. They brought him in for questioning. And yeah. he was like, uh, and then, so they, he got out of the car because they were going to shoot him. Um, There's, like, four cop cars. There, it's, like, an armed standoff. Uh, and he's just chilling because they can't fucking do shit. Um, yeah. And then, so he gets pushed against the car, and then they start roughhousing, you know, and then he pushes back, and then, like, six cops, like, pile on him, shove him, like, they hit him into the car, which, again, they don't know he's immortal, to be fair. And then the the dude pulls out a revolver, clicks the hammer, and just puts it right next to his head. It's like, what the, you know, you can't, it's just very unprofessional, in my opinion. Um, And, uh... And then, you know, the cop just blatantly, like, punches him for no reason in the police station. Yeah, I remember still, that, yeah. He's still not under arrest. Not saying yeah. you can do that to people who are arrested. You can't. But he's still not even under arrest. I just... The, the cops, I know that, like, they weren't meant to be, like, heroes in the story, you know? It's just, like, they're so infuriatingly annoying. It... Oh, oh, it's just... Ooh, you know? Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I feel like I've mainly been negative, but the movie also does literally open uh, with a guy just in the parking garage, and then another guy comes out, and they both have swords, and they're just hitting pipes, and, and every there's a lot of sparks, and then, oh, yeah. oh my god, when that character just fucking does like... 30 backflips in a row or that was so funny i that mm-hmm. but, um so that's when i was like oh isaac picked a really good movie all right and then like i was in it i was in it and then it just fucking died um right. but there are there are definitely highlights of this movie and well, the, the bad acting so. is oh well, i was just gonna say the bad acting adds to that entertainment yeah it, i would agree i would agree yeah. like you know going off of what you're saying i absolutely like obviously like all i'm talking about right now is all the bad stuff right that yeah. being said queen did the soundtrack yeah and like oh like despite all the terrible shit i have said so far i still listen i gave this movie three out of five which is above average because my you know it's i'm like the harsh rater now yeah so yeah, yeah, yeah 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 the 50 yep. percent mark which is average is uh, average yeah but um you know i i i i didn't have like a great time i think it was like a, i think it was above average and like I think a lot of that, it's weird because I'm trying to think of what made it not, you know, just shitty after all I, I said all that. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I just think it's like a really interesting story in my opinion. Yeah, I know for me, on when I was watching it, like if this is five and this is, you know, one, I was like here. I was like, oh, this is good. And then it went like that. Yeah. And then it kind of goes like that. So I don't know. I also think this movie is really good. I'd recommend it if you need a silly movie to watch, like with friends, because mm-hmm. it's really goofy. I don't know, but like watching it by myself, it wasn't the, like it's not a like oh I'm gonna put this on by myself type of movie. At least for me, right. um, I will say, I will say, I think in terms of watching environments, this is definitely a legally 
Like this is definitely like yeah, a get yeah, really yeah, yeah. high and watch it movie. Yeah, I cannot imagine going through that. You just see dudes' heads getting chopped off, they explode yeah. into lightning, then all the spirits go into him, and it's like ah, you know. Yeah, but yeah, that yeah, as, I absolutely agree. As you're twenty one, right? I am twenty one. Okay, although good I enough. cannot, uh, because I still live in dorms on a public university. I I cannot. I- uh, uh, I'm technically no under one. that policy I'm as well. Sorry, man. So it's terrible. It's yeah. terrible, right? Yeah. So, all right. Well, that's that's uh, good. Good to know. Yeah. Um, hey, for, should we turn this podcast into a uh, drug policy Q and A? Yeah, it's uh, the uh, good old advisory for um drugs. But all right. Well, so Isaac, you gave it a three, right? I did give it um, a three. I gave it a two and a half. Hey, fair um, enough. Hey, pretty close. You know, we're not on our hot streak. But hey, pretty close, right? Yeah, yeah. That that's better. I think once it gets more than a star, then maybe um that's where the deviance gets in. But n- knowing the movie we're doing next week, I think we won't have to worry about that. I'm um, excited to find out so. what it's about when I watch it. Yeah. Yep. So tiptoes next week. And I, Isaac, don't do any research because Danny and I too much know too much about the movie. So just literally do as much as don't Can like you tell me what year it's made in. Two thousand like two. I think. Okay, cool. So post 9-11. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, something like that. But yeah, just like have someone blindfold you and then turn the movie on. Okay. Right. And then you can yeah. unblind. It's a it's a dusk till dawn scenario. Gotcha. Yeah. So all right. Well, Isaac, do you have any more uh concluding thoughts? Uh no, no. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching Highlander Nils. Thank you. Yeah. I every week I look forward to it, and every week I'm happy. Um we do these so it's a great time talking Isaac so there can only be one